Houston, we need a vacuum. Dust is a nuisance on Earth. Thankfully, we can simply pull out a vacuum or grab a rag to rid ourselves of unwanted dust in our homes or on our things. But on the moon, it's made of very fine crushed rock, which is abrasive and sharp like tiny pieces of glass, making it more of a dangerous threat than just a simple nuisance. Unlike Earth dust, lunar dust is damaging to everything, from lunar landers to spacesuits and even human lungs if inhaled. During the Apollo missions, dust got everywhere. Well, it ain't getting awful dusty. Everything is just full of dust. It clogged mechanisms, interfered with instruments, caused radiators to overheat, and even tore up their spacesuits. Unlike on Earth, moon dust isn't packed down. Any activity on the surface can kick up buckets full of the stuff. And did you know, moon dust may look and behave differently depending on what area of the moon it's from. For example, on the dark side of the moon, lunar dust has a negative electrical charge. But dust on the sun-facing side of the moon has a positive electrical charge because it's constantly exposed to solar radiation. This solar charging means it clings to everything, much like static here on Earth. Looks like you guys have been playing in a coal bin. I don't know how we're gonna get it all. Let's do the best we can. Yeah. For NASA to conduct extended human and robotic exploration on the Moon or Mars, the agency needs a better understanding of how to mitigate the ever-present destructive nature of lunar dust. This is where you come in. Your job will be to help our astronauts deal with lunar dust that has a positive charge. In small teams, you will simulate an astronaut helmet covered in lunar dust. The helmet will be represented by a latex balloon or a styrofoam plate. Teams will create an electric charge by rubbing the helmet on hair or dry skin and then place the helmet in the lunar test bed, making sure to have it covered in as much of the simulated lunar dust as possible. Your challenge will be to build a tool using available materials to remove the lunar dust from the balloon but no touching, you'll have to use the invisible force of electrostatics, the attraction and repulsion of electric charges. An effective tool could be a major contribution to successful long-term stays on the moon in the not-so-distant future. Good luck. <laughs>